Bellator uh, 298 main card is gonna be pretty much fun. Kind of surprises me a bit as I've heard that Bellator is for sale, but okay. I'm gonna do analysis and we're gonna see which way we should go like. Sydney Outlaw versus Islam Mamedov, man, such a hater of this guy Mamedov, so boring wrestler, so annoying, one of the most annoying fighters I've seen in the world. Sydney Outlaw on the other side, isn't that bad fighter, the gun is 16-5, 5 foot 9 centi, 6 inches of reach, and uh, unfortunately he lost to Tofik Musai via right hook, but... Yeah, defeated Miles Shuri, defeated Adam Piccolotti, lost to Michael Chandler. Unfortunately, this guy Mamedov is extremely boring. He will try to drag the fight to the ground and out-wrestle him. I mean, Outlaw is not a bad wrestler, let's be honest, but... Unfortunately, I see Mamedov winning in a very, very boring fight. Hence, I want Outlaw to win. I really want Outlaw to win, but I doubt it's gonna happen. James Gallagher, a submission specialist. He's set to go down against James Gonzalez, and uh, James Gallagher will be fishing for a submission by any means necessary. And uh, James Gonzalez is five foot nine, sixty-nine inches of reach. Ray Longo fighter got a decent submission game. He was very good at PFL, destroyed Vickers Singru Hill, and he lost to Cody Law in uh, Bellator. Sorry, he defeated Cody Law, lost to Aaron Pico. I believe this fight could be closer than it looks, but I'm going to give a, I'm going to give advantage to James uh, Gallagher. Then we got uh, Delton Rosto versus Aaron Jeffery. Delton Rosto is undefeated. I don't see why would it change. He's got many victories over legendary names. Aaron Jeffery, six foot two, seventy three inches of reach, out of Niagara Falls, Ontario. Aaron Jeffery lost to Johnny Salter, lost to Cabo Hallo. He defeated Fabio Aguilar, he defeated Austin Vanderford, which was very much nice. I was happy when I seen him defeating Vanderford. But Rost is undefeated for a reason. I just uh, I just doubt uh, Hercules is going to lose this fight. Six foot old, seventy four inches of reach. Out of Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Man, he scored all the victories inside of Bellator against very good guys, very good names. I don't think he's beatable. Valentin Moldavski vs. Steve Maury. Now, people are gonna criticize me for this call, but I believe Maury has good chances to win. Like, I'm gonna go with over uh, with over 1.5 on this one. Maury is 6 foot 8, 79 inches of reach, and uh, he defeated uh, Rakim Cleveland, he defeated Sean Asher, Sean Teed. We had no contest between the two of them, and then... Uh, a draw against the side. but I believe, I really believe like um, I think Moldavski is overrated. I think Mauri is better in majority as of aspects of the game, and uh, I am pretty much confident he could keep this fight on the canvas, and I'm confident he could dominate. Logan Storley versus Brandon Ward, another fun fight to watch. But uh, Logan Storley is a wrestler, like a very much pressure wrestler. Brennan Ward would have chances if he keeps the fight standing, but it's so hard against Logan Storley. It's so, so hard against Logan Storley. I mean, he is not a fun fighter to watch, that's for sure. Lost to Yaroslav Mosso, but defeated Michael Page, Neyman Gracie, Dante Shiro. This fight will probably go all the way. Yeah, probably go in the distance. Brennan Ward, 5 foot 10, 71 inches of reach. He defeated Sabah Humasi, Brandon Bell, Cassius Kane, but... Uh, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I don't see Brennan Ward winning because uh, he has to keep this fight standing by any means necessary. It's hard to keep the fight standing against Storley. You've seen even Venom Page was unable to do that. So these are my calls, picks, predictions. Good luck, fellas. Wish you all the best.